Hello and welcome. To solve this logarithmic equation, we must remember that when we have a statement such as log to base a of b is equal to c, that this simply means that a to the power c is equal to b. Now, of course, you know that when we write log without specifying the base, it means we are working in these 10 common logarithms. So, according to this, we can write this logarithmic equation as x to the power 4 plus 16x minus 2 is equal to 10 to the power 1. Now, of course, you know that 10 raised to power 1 is equal to 10. Rearranging this equation, we have x to the power 4 plus 16x minus 2. Now, let us bring 10 over to the left-hand side. We have minus 10 is equal to 0. And of course, from here, we have x to the power 4 plus 16x minus 12. Minus 2 minus 10 is equal to minus 12 is equal to 0. Now, the easiest way to solve this quartic equation is by completing the squares. To do that, let us add and subtract 4x squared to the left-hand side of this equation. And then let us break down minus 12 into 4 minus 16. Now, when we do this, we have x to the power 4 plus 4x squared plus 4 minus 4x squared plus 16x minus 16 is equal to 0. Of course, you know that adding and subtracting the same quantity on one side of an equation doesn't change the equation in any way. Now, let us arrange this equation as x to the power 4 plus 4x squared plus 4 minus 4x squared Now, because of this minus, this is going to be minus 16x and this is going to be plus 16 is equal to 0. Now, it's very easy to see that this is a perfect square and this is also a perfect square. Of course, you know that this is a quadratic expression in x squared. To factorize this, all we have to do is to find the factors of 4 that add up to plus 4. And of course, those are 2. So here we have x squared plus 2 squared. Now, here to factorize this, we can use the table method because the coefficient of x squared is not 1. When we do that, we find the factors of 4x squared. Of course, we have 2x and 2x. And then we find the factors of 16. Those are going to be 4 and 4. But since the middle term is negative, then this is going to be minus 4 and minus 4. Now, 2x times minus 4 is going to give us minus 8x. And 2x times minus 4. Of course, it's also going to give us minus 8x. And minus 8x minus 8x is going to give us minus 16. So that means that this equation is simply x squared plus 2 squared minus 2x minus 4 squared. And of course, this is equal to 0. Now, from here, you're going to see the difference of two squares. Remember that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. And of course, a is x squared plus 2, while b is 2x minus 4. Now, when we substitute into this, we have x squared plus 2 minus 2x 
minus 4 multiplied by x squared plus 2 plus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. And simplifying this, we have x squared plus 2 minus 2x minus minus is plus 4. Here we have x squared plus 2x plus 2 minus 4 is equal to minus 2. This is equal to 0. Now here we have x squared minus 2x plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. And of course here we have x squared plus 2x minus 2 is equal to 0. So you can see how easily we have reduced the original quartic equation into two quadratic factors. And of course now all that we have to do is to solve these two quadratic equations to find the values of x that satisfy this logarithmic equation. And I am sure that you already know that from this statement, either this is equal to zero or this is equal to zero. So we have x squared minus 2x plus 6 is equal to zero. Or x squared plus 2x minus 2 is equal to zero. Now we cannot solve this quadratic equation by factorization. So let us solve by completing the square method. From here we have x squared minus 2x is equal to, this goes over to the right hand side. We divide minus 2 by 2, square it and add to both sides of the equation. So we have x squared minus 2x plus minus 1 squared is equal to minus 6 plus minus 1 squared. Of course, you know that this is a perfect square. So we take 1x and we take 1 minus 1 and we square and this is equal to minus 6 plus minus 1 squared is 1. And of course, minus 6 plus 1 is equal to minus 5. And I am sure that you must have already noticed a problem because we have that the square of an item is negative. So that means that the root that we are going to get from this equation is going to be complex. Because of course, you know that if we take square root of both sides of this equation, what we'll have is that x minus 1 is equal to plus or minus the square root of minus 5, which is a negative number. So ultimately, whatever roots we are going to get from solving this equation is not going to be of use to us in solving this logarithmic equation. So we abandon this at this stage and we go over to the second equation. Now here, once more, we cannot solve by factorization. So let us solve by completing the square method. We have x squared plus 2x is equal to, this goes over to the right hand side. Now once more, we divide 2 by 2, square it and add to both sides of the equation. When we do that, we have x squared plus 2x plus 1 squared is equal to 2 plus 1 squared. Of course, you know that this is a perfect square. So we take 1x and we take 1, 1 and we square and this is equal to 3. Now, we take square root of both sides of this equation. When we do that, we have that x plus 1 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 3. And of course, from here, we have that x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 3. So finally, the two values of x that satisfy this logarithmic equation are x equal to minus 1 minus root 3 and x equal to minus 1 plus root 3. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. 
leave us a like to support the channel thanks for watching and you can see more tutorials here